Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age 2 where we are on part number 7 and we are getting deeper into this game and I'm freaking excited because I am obsessed with this game. I think it's amazing and I just cannot wait to continue to explore. So uh, I don't know what part it was but there was a time where I was like trying to look for something because we had this quest in our journal about basically something being in our uncle's apartment uh yeah right here and then when i was re-watching the episode that i uploaded to youtube i noticed that this was here and i'm like how did i miss this so i'm thinking that this is what it is aha so payment is now two months late mm, okay there you go so interest secures as we have we are well aware you will find yourself barred from our establishments unless payment is made think there you go. So he's obviously like completely in debt, which we kind of expected as well. But uh, no better card sharp or numbers runner in Kirkwell will deal with you. I certainly hope this matter is attended to before steps are taken. Let's avoid future unpleasantness. So I'm guessing that that is like what you were supposed to find because yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense. So can I go to that journal inquiry now? Oh, oh my gosh, it's not even it. Well, then what the heck is it? What the heck is it? Okay, I'm gonna wait until y'all can tell me. Because <laughs> I have no freaking clue. I'm not seeing anything in here in regards to that. So, yep, when you tell me, then I'll know for sure uh, what it is. Okay, so anyway, we are gonna leave. So, I've thought a lot about it. And I want to do the mission where we kind of get our, the will, you know, we, I want to see the will. And for that, I want to take my brother, Aveline, because she's been with us for a long time. And then we need to take a rogue, okay? And Varric's been with us for a long time. So I'm thinking, why don't we try Isabella as our rogue, okay? And then we are going to go to Darktown because it is in Darktown, and we are going to go and do Birthright. I guess we're doing it at night. We're going to be really sneaky, which is fine by me. <laughs> so I definitely want to take Anders, though, because, again, I don't know who I'm even eligible to romance with in this game, <laughs> but I do know that I saw... Oh my gosh, talk to Anders, what is this? Speak to Anders at his home in Darktown. Now that things are settled with Carl. Oh. Okay, I will. I will do that. So basically, with Anders, I saw a little heart. So I kind of want to explore what that means a little bit more. See if I like him. And maybe want to potentially get to know him better. You know, right now I don't have any strong opinions on anything. So I will do it. But yeah, there he is. Okay. <laughs> okay, not yet. Okay, and I'm definitely not going to take these three with me. Oh my gosh. I'll go alone, you know, if I'm going to explore some romantic options. Oh, I have to level you up. I have to level you up. Auto level up. But we are currently normal. He still hates us. I wish there was like a, a point system so I could see how well we're doing. All I see is it's always in that end, you know. I'm hoping that eventually it goes up, but I don't know for sure. But I'm hoping this mission does us good. You know, I'm really hoping it does us good. But only time will tell. Okay. Oops. My bad. Let's go. I'm not really quite sure what I'm supposed to do in here, by the way. I think we're supposed to go through the sewer system to, like, go under the estate <laughs> and work our way up within the estate, I, I, I think. Okay. But right now, I need to go to the barrel. Take all. And I'm hoping that you have the skills that we need to be the little rogue that you need to be. <gasps> OMG. Already getting it. Already getting it. That was relatively easy. It's a good sign. And I'm the wrong person. Okay. <laughs> all right. History of Kirkwall, chapter one. Boom. Okay, so I just spent the last hour reading codexes do you know how many damn codexes i got because of that premium content i literally went through every single one 
I haven't finished every all of them yet because there's so many. So I read like half over half of them today, and then I'm gonna read the rest tomorrow because there's just too many. There's just too many. Okay, can I talk to y'all? By all means, lead on. I see her lips moving, but I don't hear anything. Always where you need. Aw, thanks, Aveline. Okay, so where should we go? It's up here. Oh, damn. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is a Bella girl. Oh, that's that's our friend. Wow, they're really strong. I'm barely doing anything. By all means, lead on. OMG, more codexes to read. Actually, I'm really glad I read all of the ones I did today because they were the most boring. There was some actually interesting ones, I will be honest, but the, most of them were just about like how weapons were made. Oh, it was so boring. But I was like determined to read them because I was like, what if there's a gem in here? And there was some good stuff about like King Kalen and stuff, you know. So yeah, it was all right. No regrets. Oh shoot. Did my brother... Oh wow, that's a good one. That is a good spell. Oh, bye. Next, indeed. Thank you. Next. Uh huh. Okay, so hold on. Was this the way? Oh. Okay, so that was a way I guess I couldn't even go. I feel like I've missed something. I'm gonna go back just real quick. Oh, I see her up. Great. Oh, yeah, see that? Why can't I get through that door then? That's annoying. Sorry, hold on. Did I go this way already? Did I already go this way? Oh, that's Dark Town. Oh my god, I'm so. Alright, so I'm literally just going in circles. Let me just level her up. Uh, I, all I care about is cunning. There you go. She's at 20 now. She should be fine. Okay, so let's do Constitution for health. There we go. And then auto level the rest of you up. And now does that change what I put in there? No, okay, good. Okay, just making sure, because I somehow got 21 constitution. I did not want 21 constitution. I want an even number, so now I have to go to 22. So annoying. <laughs> uh, all right. So in here, did I check? Oh, no, I did not. Holy moly. Right, history of Kirkwall chapter two. That was awesome. Okay, taking that. Taking this sack. Got a cracked sack. Okay, and then where else are we going? Let me, first of all, I'm shocked I haven't already saved. There we go. I'm gonna save. Did that bastard get put trap like ahead? I knew I should have slit his throat. Oh, that, that was weird. And why did they set off the trap? Silly willies. Okay. Hi, Isabella. It's time for your sh time. There we go. I appreciate that. Okay, so me. Okay, mage slaver. Okay, well, that's a bad person. History of the circle. So excited for that. All right. So, let's go. That. Oopsie. If there's anything to learn about the family, that's where it is. Okay. Well, here we go. All set. Okay. Chest. Grandfather's will. So this is it. Grandfather's will. 
Let's just take it back to Mother and be done with it. I don't think there's any point in delaying the news. All right, well, let's see what it says. I feel like it's not going to be good news. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. We found the will. Grandfather left everything to Mother and us. I guess he had some sense after all. See for yourself. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter Leandra and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend to be controlled by you. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is! You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Go, Mom! I, you know it's going to happen. If anyone's going to do it, it's going to be her. This guy's such a loser. I hate him. And also, I will also say that if we save the Viscount's son, I feel like that's going to work for us. You know what I mean? Did that make our brother and I have a better relationship? Oh, I can't tell. Mm. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Oh, I'll go speak by myself to Anders. <laughs> All right, so let's go to Darktown. Let's go during the day. Sounds nice. There's a lot of rumors as well that we need to investigate. All right, so let's see. But myself. All right. I wonder what he wants to talk about. Here he is. I had a friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You can tell me anything. Anything? Be careful what you offer. I just... I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend, it had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the line. Okay. It feels a little out of place, but I'll go with it. Well, he can't complain about his looks anyway. Growing up in the circle, everything is about order and rules and the Templars. The apprentices. We found ways to make that bearable. Carl and I... He was the first. We could forget that, out in the world, we were nothing but Templar slaves. 
We hadn't been together for a long time. But still, it hurt. You and Carl. I've always believed people fall in love with a whole person, not just a body. Why would you shy away from loving someone just because they're like you? Does it bother you that I've been with men? I'm just glad it didn't take me any longer to find out. It's hard to believe Carl is dead. And at my hand. Damn the Templars. I should have come to Kirkwall sooner. No one should have to go through that. It's the bloody Templars. You know how it is. They don't see us as people. They don't care that Carl was someone's son. Someone's lover. If you're born with magic, they hear about it. They search your little rat's bit village and find you. They tell your parents they'll be thrown in prison if they ever ask about you. Stripped of their rights in the eyes of the Maker. And if you run away, they hunt you down. Again, and again, and again. You're speaking from personal experience. Andraste's words were that magic must not rule over man. It is not ruling to simply wish for the same rights as any man. Doesn't every mage deserve the freedom you've had? Hmm. That's, I mean, it's tough. I get where he's coming from. You know what I mean? Like, it's sad. But. Can I talk to you, Brad? Bring you. I'll bring you. So, that's kind of awkward, though. I mean, he literally just killed his boyfriend. <laughs> And here we are flirting with him. I and mean, it feels kind of awkward. I have to see how that pans out. I'm not really sure that's gonna work for me. And what an awkward line that was. Oh my gosh, so awkward. It's like, dude, you, you the, not the right time. Like the guy literally just killed his boyfriend and here you are flirting with him. What a weird line. I feel like, I feel like the romantic options are coming up way too quickly in my opinion. Like. We need to like get to know people first before we start flirting with them, but this is my opinion. Maker. I think he's ignoring me now. Hey! Is my coin not good enough for you? Oh, Hawk. Thanks for helping me with that little problem I had. You going to buy me a drink to celebrate our victory? I don't know if that's wise. Oh, please. Fixating on what's wise makes you forget what's fun. Oh, before I forget, are you still looking for work? Because I have a friend who needs some help. A friend of yours is a friend of mine. What can I do? He didn't say, and I didn't ask, but I'm sure you're up to it. His name's Martin. He has a room right here in The Hanged Man. Tell him I sent you. Now, you going to leave me to my drinking or what? All right, so we just picked up a new mission. Oh, Finders Keepers. Speak to Martin about a job in his room at the Hanged Man. Okay. Oh, I'm walking into a table. That's really not gonna get me anywhere, is it? All right. I hear good things about you, Anders. Not what I expected. From a mage, you mean? I didn't say that. How else would you judge me? What else am I a shining example of? I don't know. Other Ferelden's lurking in Darktown? Mage or not? You... have a fair point. I love Aveline, and Aveline loves us, and we're a mage, so like... I wouldn't be too hard on her, okay? That's all I'm saying, is don't be too hard on her. Okay, let's go over here. And in here is the room, okay. So you found me. Going to finish Martin off properly this time, are ya? Where's my property, eh? How does it feel making a profit off someone else's hard work? I'm not here to kill you. But if you tell me what this is about, I might be able to help. You're not here to kill me? And you want to help? Maker, it's got to be my lucky day. I need someone to help me find out where the raiders have hidden my stolen cargo. 
This job's as easy as a peg-legged tavern wench. And there's good coin in it to boot. You have a history with the raiders, don't you? Yes. I was a raider. Back then it was just smuggling and petty thievery. It's changed since that madman Ianto took power around here. Extortion, murder, kidnapping. He does it all. It's just not to my taste. I tried to get out, but he didn't like that. This scar on my neck, he gave it to me. Slit my throat and threw me overboard. I tried to start a new life away from this bullshit. And he has his men chase me down and steal my cargo. You knew what he was. What did the raiders do to you? They closed in on my ship and forced her into the cliffs. My crew and I barely made it out alive. They must have salvaged the cargo when it washed ashore. Are the raiders a big problem around here? There are always raiders on the seas, just like there are always bandits on the roads. But they've been much more active of late, like vultures taking advantage of the blight. It's your cargo. You look for it. Those raiders are still looking for me. I'm not going to draw their attention. Why would the raiders want your cargo? Is it valuable? How should I know why they want it? It's just spices and herbs. Nothing special. I'll take care of it. You'll need to look around the docks. The crates bear the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. So you'll know it when you see it. I'll find your cargo, Martin. You have my word. I've had it with the Raiders. And this cargo is the key to me getting on the straight and narrow. You're doing me a huge favor here, friend. Thank you. And be careful. I once knew a sailor like you. We lost him in a hurricane. Very sad. We used to have another bartender here.
You don't like me, Carver. I don't like you. That's unfortunate. Hating someone just because they're a mage is a sh painful thing. I don't hate you because you're a mage. I hate you because you won't shut up about it. Oppression this, Templars that. I'd heard enough long before you. Maybe it's time you put some thought into it. I was a beast then, a werewolf. I did many terrible things. I... I'm sorry. Sorry does not bring my mother back. I was a victim too, Elf. Of Zafrian's vengeance. Stranger, please calm her down. Did I hear you right? You're a werewolf. I was one, but no longer. Her Dalish Keeper cursed some humans with lycanthropy long ago. The disease spread over the years, but the hero of Ferelden freed us. Is this what your mother would want? But he murdered her. This man may have a wife, children, certainly a family. What will they think of you? Kill him, and you become him. You shame me. My mother would not want this. Leave Shem before I change my mind. All right. So basically, my microphone was muted. I'm not really quite for sure how, for how long. And and wow, Isabella decided to not like me for my mercy, full merciful choice. <laughs> what a witch would it be? Um. Yeah. So basically. I was saying how stupid I was for not bringing Isabella on that particular dialogue with the guy about missing cargo because it was her mission and I feel like kind of silly about doing that because I'm sure she would have had extra dialogue had I done that. In addition, I'm bringing these two people because I didn't want to bring Aveline because like, wait, Aveline? Is it Aveline? Oh my gosh, can't even remember her name. But I didn't want to bring her because the, to the Viscount mission because we're basically saving the sun, the Viscount, uh, because they said they didn't want the guard involved. And also, I wanted to bring a rogue just in case, you know, we need stuff stolen. But apparently, Isabella and I are not going to get along because she just decided to go against me for being a compassionate, merciful mage. So, yeah, that's going to be an issue for us. So, we are going to go fight the Talvasoth which are the rebel mercenaries of the Canari who don't really have like a place within their community because they don't believe in the Kuhn. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm so sorry that I did not have my microphone on. Uh, it must have been at least four minutes that a mic and I feel and silly. And the world's rid of one more Canari. Easier than I expected. Call the men back. We've got an appointment with the Viscount. Isn't that right, Seamus? Ashad! You killed him! You... You Vashadan bitch! That one of their words? See, that's why you need to be dragged home. You're playing too nice with those things. I'll wager you've gone even further than that. Haven't you, brat? Sounds like he doesn't want to go with you. Competition? Well, you're too late. The Winters, uh, I, have already claimed him. Sirrah, if I must go back, so be it. But I will not see these murderers rewarded. Spoiled shit! I'll cut out your tongue and charge extra for bringing you back quiet. And as for you... I could do with some entertainment while we wait for the others. Um, no. You're gonna die. Okay, which would it be? Yeah, are you ready? I'm gonna blow you all up. Boom. Yep, and now I'm gonna get you with this. And that. There you go. Oh, Isabella trying to take my fame right now. She's like, oh, there you go. You're done. 
There you go. Oh my god, why am I him? Dead and good riddance, but she said she was waiting for more. A lot more. Well, let them come. Strip the camp, and we'll ready a fitting welcome. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so scared. All right, boom, blow y'all up. Wow, that took rid of a lot of you quick, didn't it? Wow, I actually am pretty strong. There you go, Isabella. You can't, you can't overthrow me. I'm clearly the best. Oh, wow. Don't hit my brother, you little dork. There you go. Boom. Mercenary commander. Bye. Oh, you little bitch. That is mean right with a freaking... Nope. All right. Oh, Andraste. I've never seen so many corpses. So much blood. We'll get through this. Hold on a little longer. There may be more coming. Oh, wow. Even more? There they are. Really? You really? Oh. Alright, let's get these ones. Come on. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Anders is doing well. Isabella is really into it, eh? She likes hacking people up. Wait, wait, wait. Why am I dizzy? Oh, no. That was bad. Okay, that's it. Fire. There you go. Hi. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Yeah. Really? If we kill them, we get their stuff. Yes, Isabella. A shard never lied, never coddled. You were worth his time, or you are not. They are not the brutes others claim they are. Take me to my father, and I will try again to make him see. It's clear this was not your first encounter with this Ashard. I met him soon after their ship founded. I had run again to escape the keep and my father. Ashard was to map the coast, to find an answer for the Arishok. I had so many doubts. Kunari have none. I wasn't aware that Kunari take many friends. Perhaps it isn't the right word. I am the Viscount's son. Bound by everything that means. Ashard did not care. We were both seeking something. That was enough. I confess I'm not sure what one does with a dead Kunari. The body is no longer him, and is worthy of no special treatment. That is, apparently, their way. Should his people be told? They will know. Whether they will deign to acknowledge it, I have no idea. There was much of a shard that I didn't understand, but it was so very worth trying. The Viscount is clearly concerned about your safety. The Viscount sends thugs to do a father's job. I was in no danger until his help arrived. You could have told him this was your wish. Keep your assumptions. He doesn't hear me. He's as tired of being disappointed as I am of bearing it. And now, Ashad is dead. It's not right. Let's go, Seamus. Your father will be waiting in the keep. Then take me to him. That's very sad. They were obviously very close. Father. My son. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, Father. Allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Excellency. He fulfilled the bounty. You have my gratitude. 
I hope you encountered no great difficulties on my son's behalf. There were complications, but I was privileged to keep your son from harm. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with a shard. The Kunari. They are not monsters to be feared. If you would just try to understand, others would see as well. Better that you were thought abducted than to have their influence suspected in my own family. Benign or not, it's, it's too much. I respectfully disagree, Excellency. Your son is showing considerable wisdom. That is quite enough. My apologies, Excellency, for this intrusion into personal matters. There is no... Just move. Well, I was going to speak the way I want to speak, and we got friendship with my brother. So that was great. Worth it in the end. Worth it in the end. A letter awaits you at home. We never know. Wait, can I go in there? Not going to happen. Well, I just wanted to see if I could steal anything. Oh, what's that? Wait, wait, how do I steal it? Oh, yeah. There we go. Got another. Wait, can I get one here too? Nah, nothing. I just wanted to see if I can get. Oh. Allow me. Oh. Allow me. You happy now? Ooh, she does not seem like a very friendly person. You know, especially now that she realizes that I'm not gonna keep flirting with her because I'm not into her. You I'm know, she in. was nice when I she thought like she was getting my better. pants. Now she's being a right bitch. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I do like Isabella. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so that's done. So the journal, so secondary is done. Okay, so I don't know how, how much money do we have, by the way? We have enough, yo. We have enough gold, yo. Okay, so what's this? Okay, so locate. Okay, oh yeah, let's do the stolen cargo. You know, since we started that, and we have Isabella in tow, might as well. Finders keepers. I'm guessing that's a stolen cargo. So let's do that. Lots to do, but it's all good. Yep. <laughs> There's so much that I need to learn about this game because I've only on part three on YouTube. <laughs> There's so I have to like kind of wait for y'all to like tell me like all of the stuff. Have I not? Hello? Been? Is Anders there? Can I speak to Anders? You can stop yelling. It's always me. Oh, good. I didn't want to talk to that other guy. You know, the stick in the mud. He can still hear you. Justice and I are one. Anyway, you wanted to talk to me? Not really. I just wanted to make sure it was you. <laughs> okay, I don't think I've been here before, y'all. as fast as I can. Don't you worry. Have I been here before? It doesn't look familiar. Maybe I have been here before. You know what? We've done so much already. Okay, so let's do this. Let's save the game. Okay, and then let's go here. I'm looking for some cargo. You're in luck. Cargo all around. Take your pick. I could use your assistance. I'm looking for crates sealed by the Orlesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Talk to the Arbor Master. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. Hey, if you're done wagging your tongue, can we get those sacks off the docks? All right, so uh, is the yeah? It's over here. I think the canary is We'll be glad to be back on the waves. That's so sad that that guy's friend died. All if right. You see a blonde elf girl. Definitely have not been here. She's probably a blood mage. A blonde elf blood mage. Got it. Shipping manifest. I'm looking for cargo bearing the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. Ugh. Adam, deal with this. 
I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. I'm Adam, the Harbour Master's assistant. I understand you're looking for a Legion cargo. I have seen the crates. I can't remember where. Such a shame. I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. Is this enough to help you remember? Ah, it's coming back to me. The cargo is in Alton Woodrow's warehouse, by the dock. I'm glad we could help each other out. All right, so I lost two sovereign, but it's still over 50. If you see a blonde elf girl, run. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, wait, am I in the right? Yep, going the right way. There's a scourge on the waves. Sometimes scarlet, sometimes sad. Oh, what's this? An I'm sorry, name? I don't speak never get sex again. Huh? What the heck is this? Oh my god, no. No, 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 I need to go to him. I can't do anything. Where's my boy? Why won't it let me switch? Okay, I'll just try my best. Oh, now I am actually the right person. Lord Haramont, what do we do with the human? Stand down. He's not our foe. What was that about? Assassins. The boat to Ravain is within sight, but the Carta would see me dead before I get there. How would you like to make some coin? I've never seen a Dwarven Lord. I'm Renville Harrowmont, the last of my house. My family was once revered in Orzammar. Now I'm nothing but a surfacer on the run. You must have greatly angered the Carter for them to attack you with so many witnesses around. My family was murdered one by one by King Balin after my uncle failed to claim the throne. Balin's reach is long, and his vengeance a terrible thing to behold. Just to confirm, this is the person that most of you chose as king? I definitely would have chosen Haramont. I'll clear the way for you, Haramont. Dispatch these ruffians and I'll pay you what I can now. And by the ancestors, I will reward you proper when I am safe. What is your name? Hawk. A good name. I will remember it. The Carta has several groups lying in wait for us. Take the battle to them. Okay, I will definitely, definitely do this quest. But it is not as important as the quest that I'm doing right now. Because I told Isabella I'd do it. Okay, so I gotta... I will do it. Don't worry, Haramon. Hold on, can I... Let me just see if I can speak to them again. Search the docks for the Carta. Okay. Poor Haramon, man. All of them got murdered. Ugh, King Balin's such a douche. I actually hated him in the first Make game. It. Choosing him was a total accident. I did not mean to. Did There's not mean to. Tell the others. I get like, you know, it's great. Like, you know, he's progressive, but like, he is totally a tyrant. This is private property. What are you guarding? Imported goods. Who owns this warehouse? Master Woodrow, I suppose. It's rented storage space. Let's see what's behind that door. <sighs> no visitors allowed. Wow. So I either have to kill them or leave. I must have taken a wrong turn. Be off with you then. So literally I have no choice. I have to kill them. I said this is private property. Are you serious? I must have taken a wrong turn. Be off with you then. So let me just confirm that there's no option. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I have to kill them. That sucks. I said this is private property. You're in my way. We're under attack. Yeah, my bad. I mean, it is private property. They're just doing their job. Oh my god, no! Okay. 
Okay, can I not do anything properly today? I've clearly forgotten how to play the game. Hopefully they're bad people. That'll make me feel way less guilty about just killing them. All right. So let's save again. <laughs> so I just killed them. All right. Oh, well, I guess they are bad, right? Based on, but that's his point of view, though. That's the point of view of Isabella's friend. But I mean, if we're gonna get her loyalty, we probably do need to to make sure that we do this quest. So, we don't really have much of a choice, do we? Okay, this is empty. Oh, I've been here before. Yes, I have indeed. This is where that mage became an abomination. I love that they're using the same maps for everything. It makes me so happy. Okay, so let's go over here. Okay, take all. I swear, if we ended up killing people we shouldn't have killed, though, I'm not going to be... Mm -mm. I'm not going to be happy. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. All right, let's continue the search. So where is this cargo that's like super important? Let's continue to raid. I'm a raider, just like them. All right, uh, crate over here, perfect. Ah, oh, damn. Wow, Isabella, you could have told me. I wouldn't me. breathe that in if I were you. Looks like Martin's trading in death. Wait, what is that? Wait, wait, oh. Journal. What is this? Bring news of found cargo to Martin. What have you got me into, Isabella? I do not appreciate... I do not appreciate... Being corrupted. Okay? No. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Yes, that's great. Okay. Alright, let's go. Man, I really love this thing in the bottom corner. This, like, the like, heart and, like, the lyrium potion. Oh, crap. All right, hold on real quick. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh, that's helpful. You go, Carver. Yeah. Well, I hit you because you were annoying me earlier, so. And you might have got me into some trouble, yo. I don't need that, okay? So. I definitely have been to the docks, now that I think about it. But I'm not, like, 100% sure uh, when we have come here. And for what? Okay, so basically I just need to find a fast travel, and I think I found one right there. So, we will eventually do Harrowmon steel and stuff. I keep thinking I know you from somewhere. You're Ferelden, right? Ever spend time at the Pearl? That's it. You used to really like that girl with the griffin tattoos, right? What was her name? The Lay Warden? That's right. I think you were there the night I... Oh! Were you the runaway mage who could do that electricity thing? That was nice. Please, stop talking. Now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> TMI. Um, 
I thought that was Carver and her talking, and I think Carver and Isabella would make a super cute couple. I would support them. Go for it. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, I don't think they will. Okay, so we need to go to Low Town. Oh no, I could have just gone to the hangman. I'm so silly. I'm so silly. I forget I can fast travel there now. Okay, well, we've done the mission. I think we have the cargo. I'm not sure how to feel about the cargo because of what Andrew said, but maybe I misinterpreted. So it's possible that I misinterpreted. Okay, let's go to the hangman. I love this. This is so cool. <laughs> but then there's blood. So it's not that cool. All right. Are you the person that he doesn't like? You heard about that deep roads expedition. They say anyone who goes down there is going to be rich. You don't think they'll need drinks served down there, do you? Oh, I think that Beric will- Isabella. You never talk about the mage's plight. What's there to say? There's plenty to say. And you say enough for the lot of us, don't you think? So you're telling me you have no opinion on the matter? None whatsoever. That can't be true. No, I'm afraid I'm really this shallow. <laughs> Getting to know my crew. This is the team that I've chosen, y'all. Why are you so low there? Okay, I have a question. You see how there's like a little space here and a little space here? Why is that? Why is that 60 reserved? I don't know what that means. If you could explain it to me in the comments, that'd be great. All right, let me save this before I continue. All right, there we go. You're smuggling poison. I thought you were trying to change your ways. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier. And I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? I don't know what I want to do here. I really want to give him poison? I refuse to be a part of this. You want it, get it yourself. Oh, come on. If I don't get the goods back, I'm ruined. I just can't be a part of this. Fine, you've ruined me. Happy now. Yep, Isabella was gonna, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. But honestly, Isabella, you should be you should be nicer to me, okay? I was very supportive of you when you told me about your crap, like you know, with like doing odd stuff. So you should be supportive of me too, okay? I don't need all this crap. <laughs> okay? No. But uh my brother is looking closer to Isabella. And Isabella's looking close to my brother. He's looking on the upside. That's good. All right, so uh, yeah, sorry, I'm not gonna tell you. Isabella, how could you make me do that quest? I honestly feel good about my decision not to tell him. I'm sorry I do. What's up? Edwina's the meanest waitress I've ever You've met. told me this. But she keeps my drink full. Well, that I is not the, that's not the, the person. This is Nora. So who's Edwina? You I really wanna meet her. Hero of Ferelden? Yes, why? What makes a hero a hero, eh? I bet I could kill an arch demon. I bet you couldn't. I'll bet you a dozen ales. What? Well, now I'm gonna show you. Uh, yeah, it takes a lot to kill an arch demon. It's called run script zz underscore kill all hostiles. Yes. That's exactly what it takes. Okay, so uh, let's go to the journal and see. What else we got? So we got this. I still don't, I guess this is important. Like, but I don't, I don't know what, how I got that particular thing. I don't really know. Uh, so yeah. And we still have to do Meryl's quest. Oh my gosh. We have so much to do. Look at all these quests we gotta do. I also do want to pick up some more people. I feel like we're missing some crew. So first I want to go back to my house because I want to go read my mail, which is important to me, 
Okay, so yeah, I need to read my mail. <laughs> you get more letters than I do. Yes, thank There's you. There's another one on the desk. I know because I'm popular. Okay, so fuck. I've got a lead for you. A merchant I acquire goods for told me that the workers have gone missing from his bone pit mining operation. He mentioned the missing miners were Ferelden, which made me think of you. If you're interested, go hit up Hubert in the high town markets. And Thenerill. See, I like Anthenerill. See, look at this. She's telling me about people missing Ferelden's and she has some compassion. No, this poison crap. Hawk, I know we didn't part on the best terms. You were right. I was trying to squeeze more work out of you than I was justified. You've more than paid your way in the, into the city. It's been tight since you left, though. If you're looking for some more work for real coin in your pocket, come see me in Hightown any time before sunset. I think I'm going to do that. I kind of want to talk to her a little bit more. Most esteem Sarah. Okay, so my sister's friend... Fifi told me how you rescued Seamus. Could you please help me also? My kitty has gone missing. I brought her with me to the Chantry yesterday and she got scared and ran away. I don't think she likes the chant. Can you bring her back to me? I will give you all the coin I've been saving for my allowance. I call her the Queen of Antiva and she's very re regional. <laughs> um, so um, she's also fond of fish. Sincerely, Valerie Lafonte. Okay, additional note is scrawled below. Look, I don't know if you're the sort of to take on such tasks, but my daughter won't stop wailing and I'm desperate here. If you need a proper reward, I'm willing to give you my grandfather's sword. It's worth a good sum and I suspect you'd better uh, you'd make better use of it than I ever have. And if you actually find the blasted cat, I need you to take the sword so I'm not tempted to skewer it with. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. That's cute. That's a cute little mission. Okay, I, I seriously do not know where this thing is with Galen, uh, his father. Like, where is it? Not his father, his uncle. Like, it says it's somewhere in the house. Like, where the heck is this? I cannot find it anywhere. So I'm very confused. Cannot wait for y'all to see this part so you can probably help me, but I'll already have been on like part 20. I don't know. I mean, I'm on part three on YouTube today. This is part seven. You know, who knows how far I'll be, but I should be ending this part soon because it's pretty much coming up in an hour. But before I go, I'm going to do one more thing. And that is talk to a Thenril. And I'm going to do it with uh, these three people, okay? Uh, before... Wait, shoot. Where, wh where was it again? The docks? <laughs> I am so bad at this game. Okay, so a Thenerill, a Thenerill, a Thenerill. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back to the journals because I actually don't remember where she said. Please still be there. <gasps> Damn it! Okay. Back. I, I'm so upset. How come it doesn't R carve my letters? So, what? Are you here to gloat? Gamlin's the idiot again. Gamlin's the fool who can't hold his money when it's given in a bloody silver basket. I tried, you know, when Leandra left. But no one was ever going to live up to her. What was she like? As a girl? We're only a year apart. But that was time enough for Leandra to get our parents wrapped firmly around her little finger. They showed her off at every opportunity. The beauty, the scholar. The light of their lives. As far as they were concerned, they should have stopped there. I've seen the nobles in this town. Your parents must have had a fortune. Where did it all go? Well, it's not like I stood at the side of the wharf and hurled it over. I tried to invest it. I got some good tips on trade in Kunari cheeses. And, you know, a man's got needs. I'm not denying I spent more on myself than I should have, but I figured it'd all work out. So, the best way to make Daddy love you was to steal his money? I changed their filthy sheets and wiped their chins through two bouts of the cholera, and the last word Father said was... Leandra. I'm not looking for love. 
But at least I got the money. What a charmer. Your mother's busy writing to the Viscount. If you want more touching family stories, go to her. When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father, she threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. The estate is yours. Why are we still here? Technically, the house is now property of the Viscount, since its owner died without an heir. If we went there now, we would just be squatters. But if the Viscount acknowledges our rights, we can get back more than the house. We can get back our name. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you, all three of you. Oh, Bethany. She was such a sweet little girl. Never cried, just looked at you with those big eyes. She was so young to be taken from us. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down and... 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. Blame the Darkspawn, not yourself. The Darkspawn would have been happy with any prey. It was my fault it was Bethany. I... I miss her. There were four of us when the Blight began. It will never be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I have an audience for after Bartram's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Bethany. But with luck, I can at least give us a home. Okay. <laughs> That's so sad. I will talk to the Viscount about our estate. Let's talk to her brother. Thinking of life in Hightown. We're still a long way from cowing Templars with our titles, brother. Is there something you would do differently, brother? It's not up to me. We're on pace to recover an old name for an old woman. And when we're done, I don't know, I guess we'll sit around thinking about how great we used to be. Mother didn't even want that life back until we got dumped here. And you only care because we're under Templar scrutiny. Very well, Carver. What's your plan? I'd look forward. Make something new. Stop paying debts for old men. And if I had to go backward, I'm not looking for ancient names. I'd fix what's important. What went wrong. We can't just go back. We wouldn't need to if you'd done it right. Lothering was our home, not this place. We could have stood our ground. You could have stopped that ogre from killing Bethany. You're right. What? I'd change all of that if I could. But we don't have that option. And you know it. All right. Brother. I feel... I don't know. It's like Mother taking everything out on us. She was just scared. I don't have a place in the life she is trying to bring back. I'm here if you need me. But I must find my own way. Wow. We really are at odds, I think, he and I. We really are at odds. Okay, but like, first of all, amazing. I didn't even know I could speak to them. I'm with you, brother. For, For now. now. That is like definitely tripping me up. He's with me for now. That is tripping me up. Like again, no spoilers, please. <laughs> Not played this game before, but it does make me a little nervous that he's gonna leave. You know what I mean? 
Uh, high town during the day. Got it. Okay. Yeah, like I don't want him to leave. I mean, he is my brother. And regardless of our differences, I love him. And I know he's going through a lot of stuff, which is why he's taking out his anger on me. So I'm trying to forgive him. But it's getting a little difficult because he is such an entitled little crap sometimes. I mean, let's glue that speech. Took everything I had to say the good thing. Wanted to tell him, you're being a dick. But I couldn't do it. Because I knew that was not going to help me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Loose ends. Okay, so maybe it would help if I actually toggled it as like the active quest. Yep. Okay, so that's what I want to do. So, you married a Templar, huh? Absolutely. What of it? See you there. Are they all as dirty as they seem? What? Did he ever ask you to play the naughty mage and the hapless recruit? Maybe the secret desire demon and the upstanding knight? That's disgusting. I hear it's quite popular. <laughs> Anders, you're a little troublemaker, aren't you? Okay. I wonder, I wish it, there was like a way to see what the relationships they have with each other are. Obviously, Aveline loves, loves my brother. <laughs> so, I really hope that Carter comes around, Carver comes around, you know, and he starts to be a little happier with us, but never know. Okay, I'm really excited to speak to this girl because I really like the, the mission she's given us, and I feel like she's looking out for us. So, I like it, Fenrir. Huh. Well, I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Neither did I. Indeed. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? No promises. But I'll hear what you have to say. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic. If you know what I mean. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. I haven't seen them since. I'd pay good silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. See? I don't know if she's a good person, but look at what she just said. I'll pay good money for the safe return of her men. I like that. Is this anyone I know? When you left, we had to take on new Ferelden. Volunteers. Lad named Price was leading them. No one of your caliber. Where were they last seen? They were supposed to meet down by the docks, under cover of darkness. I know you're familiar with the concept. Want to tell me what you were selling? We were trying to make a deal with the Carta. Those Orzammar dwarves. They like luxury items. Fine fabrics, a cask of caviar, an aged wine. Anything one can... liberate from a high town merchant. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. Okay, so... <sighs> why? Why? Why do you do this to me, bro? Like, why do you hate me so? She's trying to find her men. I thought that was a good thing. Aveline, come on, girl. What you doing? You're supposed to be my right girl. Like, my right-hand girl. Right woman, you know? But no. She doesn't like it either. I mean, she doesn't seem that bad at Fenrir. Why is everybody getting on her for? What has she done that's so bad? I don't know. I don't know. The blooming rose. Okay, we have a lot to do, but you know what? It is the end of this part, because this part's been long enough. So, with that, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in part number eight, where we continue the story and see exactly what's going to be next, because honestly, I have no freaking clue. Thank you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.